we're living in serious times and this is very serious business, serious matter. Uh, Tom Hooper, I went back for you, brother, to get some of this surface, this amazing, different area of the moon that has an alien terrain that's a lot different than other areas on the surface of the moon. And this is in the southern highlands, not that far from Clavius Crater. This would be northwest of Clavius Crater, I believe. Here we can also see the surface terrain has structures and geometrical shapes. And it's, it's mind-boggling that there are geometrical shapes down there. Because they are so symmetrical and that there are so many, people are having a hard time believing that they are down there. Well, if you all remember this city that I clarified many months ago, it's the clearest shot I've ever gotten of a building on the surface of the moon. It's a double crater. It's a crater that's built, it's completely built, and it's a picture as clear as a nice shot of, like I told you if, if I was getting a picture of my son standing up by the pool on a sunny day. And I don't understand why it hasn't uh, affected more people than it is already, because it was very, very convincing as a video when I posted it. I've made it even better again, the photo of that area, and I am going to present to you today, for the first time, uh, I talked about it before, but I haven't, wasn't able to show it, a glass city. And I want you all to pay attention when I get to that part. And actually pay attention throughout the entire video, please, because little clips of three or four seconds that I ran through my color director, and it took me an hour to get up here, these little clips of this. It's because this detailed light that I'm shooting down on the surface is giving us back an amazing, detailed, clear surface outline. And this is what I'm trying to do to know what's down there on the surface. There's a lot in this video, guys. I found always better ways. I'm always finding better ways to be able to enhance these photos, but it's past that. It's clarifying them. And... If the spectrum of our eyes is not permitting us to see certain structures, therefore, we will need simply another filter or filtering um, process to be able to bring those um, structures out. The same thing for the activity. The activity that's on the surface and movement, it, there's another filter that would be able to get these out. But take a good look at this surface. It looks like it was... Uh, cooked, right? If you look at the colors, it almost looks like it's just baking down there and it just baked the surface. There are temperatures that rise very high during the day on the moon and it's up and down, many hundreds of kilometers difference, but there's so much that people don't know. Like for example, in the bottom of these some of these craters, it, it's always four or 500 minus degrees Celsius because of um, the darkness and the shade. Now, what are these things? What are these objects that are uh, in the region of the Southern Highlands here with this colorful surface? Uh, I was talking to Tom the other day and he mentioned they look like pods. Yes, they do, Tom. They definitely look like pods. But especially that one that looks like a, literally looks like a craft. Um, but I tend to think that these are living uh, areas. Like, this is completely inhabited, most definitely. And this supposed spaceship, why I call it, why am I calling it a spaceship? Because on the internet, there's one circulating that's arc shaped like this. Now look at what's beside um, the area of this supposed spaceship. This intriguing object that's uh, ever so bright in, in the center, emanating all these colors, whether it be the structures that are these colors or the CO2 gas that's over top of them emanating, and that in the photo I'm getting this colored surface. Either way, they are there. This light is bringing out all the detail of the surface, and you can see how many structures and anomalies are on the surface of this. Just look at this fabulous colored surface terrain. We'll be seeing different terrains today, and we're going to see that glass city, like I said, because I want to 
show you all, and I want you all to wake up to the reality of what is on the surface of the moon. I'm not bull crapping you guys. I'm not pulling anyone's legs. This is serious business, and I do want everyone to look into this. I have a campaign, um, fundraising campaign, that I'm trying to raise money to get a bigger telescope. I was suggested to open this campaign. I have people that uh, had offered me some money for the, the donation to the channel before I created the fund, months before. So I opened it. Uh, it doesn't change anything for those who are less fortunate, like me. <laughs> the channel is free. We, can, we do what we can, right? When we have some money, we, we can con contribute. If you don't have any money, don't feel bad coming by my channel and not contributing. I'm not asking you to. Guys, enjoy this. It's a channel that is going to expose what's on the surface, and just expose basically what's out in space. It's raw footage. It's my way and technique of editing things. Now, Montes Apenninus, this is where we are right now. There are structures that I'm bringing out inside these crevices and dark areas. Now, look at this one on the Montes Apenninus crater at the end, where it just literally, you can clearly see that there's a massive structure, structures and centers that are there. This process of light brings out the structures and the structures are rainbow colored and brighter uh, as compared to the natural regular surface terrain that was not manipulated. Because with this technique, I'm getting back the structures a certain color. You can see here again, I can see a square, but I can't see it on the other photo. So then I'll bring out the light to be able to see it like this. And do you see, this is a double crater on the moon. No, sorry, this is the one at the end of Monte Zappaninus, where uh, I said it looks like there's a pyramid there. Plato Crater that we're seeing here right now. All the emanating CO2 gas and lights around all the industrialized installations that are in and outside of Plato Crater. I do believe also in the depths of underneath Plato Crater, inside the terrain, inside the moon's surface, there so long me could be possibly many uh, areas that were dug out and that maybe possibly... Uh, some species or whether species or human, they, there is someone down there. There are many uh, people or alien species on the surface of the moon. It, it seems that there are more than one species. It's what it makes us believe when we look at the different structures. We're still looking at Plato Crater here. This is uh, light shot into Plato Crater to show you that the surface of Plato Crater is not in any way smooth. The spectrum of our eyes cannot see color in space and we're getting back beautiful photos from NASA of Plato Crater with a, a flat smooth surface, but it's not so. Here's another installation that I posted a couple of months back getting structures, massive structures out of the dark. Now look what we're looking at. It's pretty complex. It's not something that's just a little object on the surface. It's massive. What do you think of this one? Clearest surface structure you'll ever see on the surface of the moon. Look at the crater at top, guys. Look at the left. You can see all those other little areas are massive complexes and installations that go into the ground that have landing strips, etc. There's even color on the surface. Now look how we look at it this way the double crater that has all these platforms, I call them around them. There's a double crater right there. And there is the glass city. What you just saw, we're looking at right now. How come we cannot see those buildings? I'm trying to show you guys that we can't see certain buildings on the, on, on the surface. Can you see it? This here again, third time, a different view, third different kind of view of the same photo. This is how I saw the structuring. I said, look at all the structuring. It looks like there's buildings and squares and symmetrical shapes. So I applied different filters, different effects to be able to go get the surface terrain. And what you're looking at right here is a very alien object or structure inside and underneath this city that's inside of the double crater. But it's getting in so close. It's very, very, very small. 
to our eyes and to the telescope even because it's so far out and we have to zoom into the photo. But there are structures there. There's an entire city at that. Here it is. For the first time, as clear as I can get it, you have to rewind this one 20,000 times. You just saw a glass city. Why am I saying glass? It's not, it may, might not be glass, but it's a substance that was built that's very light gray, that's very shiny and almost looks translucent or liquidy, and it's what they're building with. I believe that there's a recycling process going on, possibly producing and recycling materials that are on other planets, that this is what these industries are doing. They're producing material to build um, uh, bases on other planets, depending on the color that they need, uh, it can all be fabricated very easily on the moon. I'm almost positive. And why am I declaring this? We just saw hundreds, if not thousands, of massive, complex installations, industrialized installations on the surface of the moon, guys. Back of Sinus Iridum, right here, north side of the moon, you're looking at a lit city on top with hundreds of structures. Again, you will see the structures here at the end. You will see them coming up. There's another way of viewing it. Look at the light sources. They are all platformed areas. Here are buildings at the back, north side of the moon, CO2 gas emanating up from them. Buildings at the bottom and front, like a city as big as New York. It's not, it's not a joke. It's right there. And I'm getting these out with light by the hundreds, guys. You're going to have to start uh, confiding in me because I'm doing this honest process of getting uh structures out in my photos by using a simple new intriguing light technique that's giving me it's working wonders for us right now are you seeing what you're seeing right now are you seeing those structures yes are you seeing what you're seeing that's what i meant are you seeing what you are seeing you're seeing a building yes it's a building don't don't assume it's anything else if you see blocks on on the surface of the moon that are symmetrical Everyone's assuming there are pixels. I mean, why? Up on the moon, they must not all know that the Earth is inhabited themselves. And if they don't, what do you think they told them? They told them the same damn thing. Earth is just a ball of water and clouds. There's some animals that were there, but there is no humans. So they would go all their lives working on the moon, never knowing that anything's up here on Earth and would not even want to try to, to look for it because they're confiding in their government or higher rulers right yeah right well we haven't had some good advice from any high rulers here on earth so i tend to think that not many people are believing them so they did that wrong in the past and people are waking up people are waking up to what's on the surface of the moon and i'm going to expose it campaign link for the big telescope will be up here are the contributors that are making it happen thanks again everyone